hope you're all all right. Uh, I get asked a lot of questions in regards to me EP2 about you know what sort of stuff that I've done to it and um, you know things I've done to it in the past and whatnot. So I decided since it's a nice day and everything, I decided to make a video on um, every single modification that I've done to my EP2. So let's go. Let's start from the beginning. I'll uh, start from the. We'll start outside in. Do that. And I'll start from the front. Right. So I apologise if it's a bit windy. Uh, I'll start from the front, like I said. So I say let's start with the engine. Uh, not changed too much on it, really. I mean, besides just sort of general stuff. The only thing I have changed really is I've put a Mugen oil cap in. Not the biggest modification ever as you probably gathered um, if you'll seen on my straight pipe video which I'll put a link up uh, above uh, that's a 421 manifold um, like I said I'll explain the exhaust from the, at the back um, Type R grill that wasn't installed by me that was put in by the previous owner um, 4D plate, uh, 3D plate should I say not 4D Loop toe strap, not actually attached to it because <laughs> I couldn't be bothered putting it in. Uh, no, it's held on by a zip tie. Uh, this here is that there is a Rhino lip, good quality lip that just uh, makes it look a little bit lower, gives it the, the old fake lows if you like. Um, headlights, they're completely stock. I did have to replace that one due to a uh, it was just too cloudy, they're a bit prone to uh, getting a bit milky. Alright, so coming around the car, got the anthracite type R alloys with the, um, they, they used to be blue, <laughs> uh, wheel nuts. Um, that's about it really for on the side. Tinted the windows, tinted the windows here and there. Shout out Lee Lockwood while I'm here. As you can see here, that I'm a, there is a learning driver. <laughs> anyway, so from from this side here, Mugen spoiler, well, fake Mugen spoiler, should I say? It's not a genuine one. Otherwise, it'd be too expensive. Uh, these are some of the clubs that I follow: Jap to Jap, Club Civic, Extreme BHP, and Cruise Lancashire are the local ones to me. And Jap to Jap, obviously as well. Probably going to one of their meets. Uh, also, if you haven't seen the Jack to Jack meet that I did a couple of weeks back, I'll put it up, I'll put it above now. Um, debadged it. Just I, I prefer a debadged car. They just I think it just goes with the symmetry of the car, and it just any I think any car just looks better without the badging on it. Uh, again, 3D plates, Type R Honda badge. The standard EP2 ones are just a um, kind of like the you know the normal Honda ones. Uh, right, from the bottom, we've got the five-inch custom back box. Which, if you if you if you're not if you're uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll have seen this all before anyway. Uh, Type R fins from eBay. Tow hook, which is the Ekman one. It's all right. It's not nothing fancy or anything like that. But this bit that people I get asked about a lot is actually painted black along here it's not a, uh, a rear diffuser it's just a standard bumper but it's just been lined up by a local body shop to me and it's uh, yeah it gives it it kind of goes well with the black spoiler and the tinted windows and everything like that yeah i really like that it tidies up nicely also i uh, did fit in that as well which isn't the best but it's all right it's a uh, an led number plate light I thought the original, the stock ones were a bit, a bit rubbish really. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, clear headlight bulb so you don't have to see the orange ones. Just makes it look a bit tidier and uh, I found some uh, LED reverse lights as well. I also went for the uh, the Honda mud flaps. I'm not sure if you can see my, can see my screen on my GoPro. Uh, just to make it a little bit sportier. Not, you know, I know it's not a rally car but just makes it look a bit, gives it those fake loads we were discussing before. Right, from the inside, I'm not sure if you can see that very well. I'll try and put it. Oh, yeah. 
anyway. Yeah, so Kenwood DAB, DAB radio, uh, Mugen gear knob, which I did. Uh, my mum actually knitted me a thing because it's it, if you're uh, if you know about these, they're either, they're either too hot in summer or too cold in winters, and it's horrible on your hand. Uh, metal gear mat, uh, <laughs> metal um, door mats. They're all right. They're nothing too fancy, like I say. Um, it's an iPod steering wheel. You can get these up pretty cheap now, they're like 60 quid or so or something in the region of that. Type Y seats. I got these, these were actually the same as all well, 60 quid. Or I think 66 quid I went and drove these out for. Not bad at all really, just a bit of wearing on there, but otherwise not too bad. I also got these as well, just a bit of a nice cushion on the neck. Plus it covers up the fact that it's not actually a Type R. And annoyingly, uh, the last shot I did of that, for some reason, it failed. So, uh, just to sort of conclude, really, that that is pretty much all the modifications on there. I did um, I did miss a couple, but I did point them out on the thing like the uh, the Beaks bar and the uh, the Direnza um, hub centric uh, with 20 mil wheel spacers. Um, as far as future plans go, uh, I'm not really sure what my plan is in the next couple weeks and months with the car I mean if you followed me on Instagram uh, I'll put the link below if you want to follow me on Instagram um, it was I was debating selling the car until well well I suppose not until but I mean uh, the other day the clutch was slipping on it so I've just had to fork out around the region of 200 pound to get it fitted and um, the price of the clutch and the gearbox oil as well which was a, a nice little gesture to just to add to it because now I am properly skin um, <laughs> so yeah I've, I may, now that the, I've had to pay out for the clutch on it I might just have one more sort of mad modification moment on it I suppose before I uh, decide to pass it pass it on and move on to something else so I'm not sure what I had in mind I've, I keep changing my mind if you're like a car guy like me you're always looking at different cars and stuff like that so um, you know, I was debating an IS200 so you can have a bit of drifting fun, and uh, but then I was debating a K24 Accord, and also at one point I was debating getting a Celica, which was the, uh, the 190 brake one. So there's a lot of different options out there. But yeah, like I say, I've, <laughs> I was debating actually getting some uh, neons because I saw Lee Lockwood's video a bit ago from when he had it and he'd done his Fiesta. And I thought that looks our, that looks like a laugh. That and plus I think uh, neons are making a bit of a comeback as well. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, um, and if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button. It does go a lot. Um, it does go far for me. I mean, I'm only a small channel. I mean, I've just ticked over 90 subscribers now, which is really cool. Uh, so shout out to all you 90 subscribers. So yeah, please check out my other videos. Um, they do go far you know and if, if you like what you see please hit the like button up and if you're uh, if you want to see some other ep2 videos or other car related videos then um, hit the subscribe button i'd really appreciate it um till then i'll uh, i'll see you on the next video take it easy